Actually, let's make sure everyone gets a fair chance. Once the presentation starts, or once I'm done speaking, everything is under embargo. So if you haven't taken a shot and you wanted to post something right now while we have the card, please do it now while well, it's still covered, and then we'll get going. So give me, I'll give you 10 seconds. Take your picture if you haven't had a chance yet. Let's at least get that done. All right. All right, guys. So everything from here on out tonight is embargoed until 6 a.m. tomorrow. That's 6 a.m. Eastern. That includes interviews, pictures of the cars, the press materials, including the press release in which you received. And if you haven't received it, come see me or someone from the team after the presentation. And so, again, this is a very exciting opportunity and someone that's very connected to performance at Ford, someone that was the former chief engineer of Mustang, chief engineer of Ford Performance, and now leads all of our Ford icons, one of our most exciting business units that the company has. Let's give a warm welcome to Dave Parasek. Dave. Thank you, thank you. Well, good afternoon and welcome, everyone. Many of you may know me from my Ford Performance days. In my current role, I get to develop the business and the future of our icon. And so those include the Mustang, the upcoming Bronco, the F-150 Raptor, the Ford GT, and all the rest of the Ford Performance products globally. Now icons are earned, they're not made. And it's our customers and our fans and our enthusiasts that make that determination. We understand our performance customers probably better than any other part of our business. And we also understand what, understand what these cars do for us and how they bring new fans to Ford. And when we talk about new fans, our Le Mans winning supercar is a fan favorite. So it has a rich history starting in 1966 <coughs> when it was the first American production car to outright win Le Mans. And I can't tell you how excited I am today to bring you through some of the upgrades that we've made to performance of the best car that Ford's ever produced. In 2017, the Ford GT became the pinnacle of Ford performance and a halo for us since its introduction. And in Ford Performance, we never stop improving and pushing the envelope and making every car better and better. And that includes the innovation of the Supercar Ford GT. So, I'm excited to take you through those updates that we've made to the GT for the 2020 model year. It all starts with the 3.5 liter EcoBoost twin turbo V6. Elevating its performance, to 660 horsepower. We've improved the cooling by introducing new larger intercoolers and more efficient uh, air ducts that improve the airflow by 50% to those coolers. With new engine upgrades and a new engine calibration, we have a much broader torque band, which brings additional life to the GT on track. The suspension dampening has been increased in track mode to further enhance its handling and its body control. The premium Akrapovich titanium exhaust is now standard on all 2020 models. And with that comes lighter weight and a very visceral exhaust note. Now from a visual standpoint, the Gulf livery that graces the Heritage Edition is also going to be updated. The number nine in the roundel will change to a six and there will be black pinstriping that will further separate the black and uh, the blue and orange. And all of this is just continuing the celebration of the wins, the back-to-back -back wins in 1968 and 1969. And then by customer demand, the carbon fiber wheels will now be available on the Heritage Edition as an option. Now I know you all are wondering what's behind me in the silk, and many of you may already know. But, <coughs> Hopefully you'll remember that the Ford GT is exclusively made of carbon. Extremely important as you look to lightweight a very powerful supercar. So the team stretched and figured out how best to show everybody what the GT is really made of. And so as we always like to continuously innovate, we wanted to make sure that this rolling piece of art was brought into production. Ladies and gentlemen, this is not a one-off show car. We call it the Liquid Carbon 4GT, and it is one of the most exclusive 4GTs. It comes from a very labor-intensive and handcrafted process. Each car is made from a single batch of material 
to ensure that the carbon lead flows properly from one panel to the next. And because of that, we're likely not to make more than about a dozen of them in any given model year. The liquid carbon forging tee is going to be available to all of our already selected GT customers in the United States. And it will take us all the way through 2022 production. So ladies and gentlemen, it's my honor and privilege to introduce to you the liquid carbon for GT. What do you think? Yeah. Wow. Now, I encourage you guys, when we have a chance here, we're going to wrap this up soon, because I know you really want to come up and see the car, because with the lighting, you can't really totally appreciate what it is. I want you to come up close, I want you to look at it, and pay attention to how the carbon weave comes together to further enhance the beauty of the machine. So with that, I'm going to bring back up Gian, and I think he's going to close this out. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, Dave. Okay. All right, guys, just as a reminder, again, everything's embargo until Tuesday. I'm oh, sorry, Thursday, tomorrow at 6 6 a.m. Eastern. Um, I know a lot of you have other um, venues and events tonight. We encourage you to stick around. Uh, we have shuttles, as you know, to get you to your next event. Just the same, if you haven't received the press materials, please see myself or someone from the team. We'll make sure that you have everything so that you're ready to get your stories out for 6 a.m. tomorrow. And again, thank you for coming, and uh, we appreciate you coming here tonight. Thank you. I'm sorry, you're good, you're good. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that.
GT Liquid Edition. Till next time. Enjoy.